Adagio for Strings, Opus 11, Samuel Barber, here on Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. As we continue on the case of Munir Talib, an Indonesian human rights activist who founded Indonesia's Commission for Disappearances and Victims of Violence, a prominent critic of the Indonesian government and military, he was poisoned to death aboard a Garuda flight, the National Airlines of Indonesia, when he was headed to Holland in September of 2004. An off-duty pilot named Polycarpus Prianto was found guilty for his death, but prosecutors ignored the findings of an independent investigation that pointed to the involvement of Indonesia's state intelligence agency. To date, no Indonesian officials have been held accountable for Munir's death. This is Munir speaking at a rally just weeks before his murder. They've seized power, they carry guns, they kill people and hide behind those in power. Should we let these cowards keep acting tough? No, they're only tough when they're in uniform. But deep down, they are scum. They are irresponsible and they'll pay. That is from an excerpt of the documentary Garuda's Deadly Upgrade. Well, this past September, just days after the sixth anniversary of Munir's death, I spoke to his widow, Sujiwati Munir, in Bonn, Germany. We're attending the 30th anniversary of the Right Livelihood Awards, and Indonesian activist Suciwati Munir has led the struggle for justice in her husband's murder. I began by asking her if she's noticed anything unusual in the weeks before Munir was killed. Um, on the 5th of September, there is an unusual thing. He got a phone call, uh, but uh, he left his cell phone uh, at the time at home. He was outside. He was outside. Someone who uh, said uh, uh, he, her, his name uh, uh, is Poli. From Garuda. From Garuda. From Garuda. The airlines. Yeah. Uh, yang menanyakan tentang jadwal kepergian Munir. He asked about the schedule of Munir's flight. Itu itu yang saya pikir ada dan uh, saya waktu itu memang. Uh, I think it. it uh, I feel. I felt uncomfortable at the time, and I think it's very very unusual for me, and it's it's only my instinct. Jadi dan ternyata. And then later I found out that uh, uh, this man has a connection with the murder of my husband. So Munir goes to the airport. He's flying in the Indonesian Airlines, Garuda, to the Netherlands. And what happened next? September. Uh, so, uh, on 7 September, I got a phone call from Usman Hamid, a coordinator of Contrast, the organization where Munir worked. Uh, he told me that uh, Munir died. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe, so I tried to call directly to the Garuda office in uh, Jakarta and in uh, Schiphol in the Netherlands, but I didn't get any confirmation about it. And then I called uh, uh, Garuda Jakarta three times and then also uh, Garuda Schiphol, but I didn't get any uh, response. I got very angry, and then I told uh, this person, whose name was Jan, I said that this is my husband, I have the right to know about him. And then this person said, oh, yeah, I see uh, Munir, uh, he's uh, dead here, but please don't uh, tell the public about this uh, story. And where was that person? He's an officer in Garuda. Where? Di mana? Di Indonesia. In Indonesia. Waktu itu dia di di Belanda. Please don't tell anyone. Dia bilang jangan ke. How did you start to learn about what happened to him on this plane ride? So uh, first, I want to after the bu burial. Uh, first thing that I want to find out is I want to meet the, the people who helped 
him on the plane because they said that the, uh, he was sick and then some people helped him. So I want to meet those persons. Dan dari sana saya bisa tahu siapa bisa memetakan siapa orang-orang yang ada di sekitar suami saya ketika dia sakit. And from that situation, I can uh, know which person who was around my husband as he was sick. Jadi kemudian saya juga bertanya kepada Direktur Garuda uh, tentang seorang nama Poli kepada uh, Indra Setiawan. And then I ask uh, the Director of Garuda Indra Setiawan about a person uh, uh, which name Poli. Dan dia menjawabnya dengan cepat sekali. Oh ya, namanya Polikarpus. And he answered it very quickly and he said, oh, her, uh, his name is Polikarpus. Saya sempat juga takjub. Karyawan di Garuda itu tujuh ribu lebih. Kenapa dia dengan cepat bisa menjawab? I was amazed at the time because Garuda uh, has about seven thousand uh, staffs, and then why uh, could he answer it so quickly? From that, uh, we get the motivation to invest, investigate, investigate this case, case further. And what did you find? I met uh, Polycarpus directly. I talked to him, and I saw that. The, the, there was so many unusual thing on this person, and uh, he was never consistent about what he's saying uh, from one question to another question, or from for the same question he always has a different answer. Did he give your husband Munir his seat in first class? Yeah, dari ketika bertemu itu. So uh, what he told me that uh, he. Uh, met my husband and uh, he offered my husband to uh, move the seat from economy class to business class. That was that uh, that was what uh, he told me. I met the doctor who helped him as, as he was sick on the plane. A doctor who was a passenger. Yes, yes. Then, kemudian aku juga. And then I asked him together with my uh, relatives, who is also a doctor, and I asked him uh, what kind of medicine he gave uh, Munir at that time. It was about uh, before the fact-finding mission was uh, formed. Because there were so many suspicious things there, so it was confirmed by the autopsy result from the Netherlands that Munir was uh, Munir death is was because of the high level of arsenic. Who do you think murdered Munir? Who do you think ordered his murder? So uh, in the court there was a witness. Uh, his name is uh, Patma. He was an uh, bean agent. Uh, on the court, he said that he was ordered to kill Munir by the deputy three of the National Intelligence Party. And then the uh, fact-finding team found uh, a fact that uh, there was a phone uh, conversation between uh, Polycarpus and Muhdi. Muhdi is? Muhdi Purwo Pranjono itu? Muhdi Purwo Pranjono is a deputy five in Bien. He's a high level, he's a general in the military intelligence? Uh, he is a mayor general and he was a general uh, who was ordered the um, kidnap uh, of the students in 1998 and he was uh, um, fired from his work of about 40 days about uh, before his retirement. What do you want to happen right now? So what I want right now is the uh, mastermind is uh, sent to jail, uh, not free, but until now only the field operator who is sentenced. Meanwhile, um, President Obama has just restored aid to COPASAS. Can you explain who COPASAS are and what this means? So Kopassus is a special force in the army in Indonesia, and they always use they are always used to like to counter terrorism in Indonesia. So, but in 1998, Kopassus was involved in uh, kidnapping the students, the students activists.
like Jafar. So Jafar was killed, and uh, like uh, Nezar Patria, Mugianto, uh, Chati was kidnapped, and uh, they are back, but there are still many uh, other students who are still missing until now. And this is Copasa's responsibility? So there was a council founded by the president at the time, and then the council said that the most responsible person for this uh, 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 event was Prabowo. So Prabowo was the commandant of Copasa and after that he was uh, fired. And he was the son-in-law of Suharto. So he was only administratively uh, fired, but uh, the case was never uh, uh, brought to, uh, to court. So what does it mean that President Obama has restored funding to Copasas? I am very disappointed because um, until now the case who was committed by Copasus has never been resolved in the court. So there was maybe some uh, uh, court, but uh, um, they, the court freed all the, uh, the perpetrators. Only the field operator uh, who was uh, punished. If there is no uh, responsibility from the Copasus, then uh, uh, we cannot sure that there will be no repetition in the future. So what is your message to President Obama? So if Obama said, uh, if, if Obama has a commitment to human rights in the world, particularly in Indonesia, so he has to pay attention to the uh, situation, uh, the human rights situation in Indonesia. And the first thing that he should ask to uh, President SBY is to ask uh, for to resolve the Munir case. Saya yakin Obama tahu siapa Munir karena dia pernah. Uh, I'm sure that Obama uh, knows Munir because Munir told me that he ever met Obama. They discussed about the uh, human rights. And Munir was killed and uh, uh, had, had, has two children, and Obama also have two has two children. Munir fight, fight for human rights. Is President Obama's actions important in Indonesia? I think uh, Obama rose is very important because there are so many cooperation between Indonesian Indonesian government and uh, U.S. government. And I believe that Obama has a, a, human, a vision in humanity. What message did President Obama send when he restored Copasa's funding? So, uh, um, uh, his, uh, as, he, as if he sent message that, okay, the human rights situation in Indonesia is now good, uh, but uh, in fact, every Thursday evening, uh, every, every Thursday afternoon, we stand in front of the President Palace asking for justice for the human rights victim. Do you think President Obama was wrong to restore aid to Copasas? I think uh, it is not the time yet. Firstly, he should um, uh, uh, find out about the progress of the human rights violations committed by Copasus, and then he might take some actions whether he would like to help or uh, not. Would you like to meet with President Obama if he comes to Indonesia? Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe yes, because I want to remind him about the uh, uh, human rights situation in Indonesia. Maybe not because of his wrong decision uh, has uh, perpetuated the impunity in Indonesia. Finally, what do you tell your children about their father, Munir, about what happened to him and who he was? I told them uh, about uh, f uh, the father, who he is, uh, about uh, his love to humanity, about his fight uh, for human rights in Indonesia and uh, that uh, he loves uh, the child, uh, his children, Alif and Diva. But, of course, I told them that uh, uh, their father will not be back because someone has killed him. The irresponsible person who uh, don't like uh, that uh, human rights is, uh, exist in Indonesia. The most important, uh, most important thing is that uh, they have a, a very, uh, they have a father that they can proud of. Suciwati Munir, the widow of Munir Talib, who was murdered in September 2004 as he was taking an 
Indonesian flight, uh, the national airlines called Garuda. Uh, he was poisoned to death. He was killed just before Yudhoyono, the current Indonesian president, came to power. He said it would be his highest priority to investigate the killing.